Hello everyone, Sumit is here and in this video we'll see how to run a react app on android using termx and you can easily download termx from play store and then we will see better id for this to edit our code let's open termx and let's see what is in the current directory so this is my app that i have created using react and now let's go inside and try to run it um, that is npm start now let's see I've learned uh, react from the most Hamidani's video the channel name is code with most if you want to learn react you can also check now the server is starting in the next video we will see how to connect Django and react and we will also create an application actually this is the copy that I have seen in the video and now you can see here we can increment and delete I have used bootstrap here I will also show you how to use bootstrap and now let's see some command and ls to see what is inside in current directory you will not able to see this storage so that is the internal storage and now we will see how to set up this so to set up this storage we have to run a command that is termx setup storage I have already done that that's why it is showing this so I'm going with no here and you will not be able to see this if you will do that so now let's see some more and if you want to go inside some directory let's say storage so you have to use cd and let's see they are shared and now inside this shared we have our internal storage that we generally see in file manager so that's here and but uh, here you cannot able to make your react app and some other app because there is no permission for that so now let's go back using cd and then dot dot you can go back in your back directory and now we are in lobby so let's go inside my app and here you can see there are lots of files so if you want to see these files in a tree form so you have to install one more package that is a tree using apt hyphen get and then you will be able to see all the files so i have already done that so i'm going to show you how can you do that so you there are, these are lots of files and now let's see okay now that has been done now you have to install one more package that is a node.js to create these type of react application we will use npx and npm of the node.js so uh, to install node.js we have to install the package that is a pkg install and the name of package that is a node.js i have already done that so i'm not going to do that again uh, if you will get any error using this so you can tell me in the comment section to create a react app you have to use npx create react app and then uh, you have to give the name of your app it will take lots of time so I'm not going to do that here here uh, if you will get any error while using this you can tell me in the comment section and this command will not run in your internal storage so make sure you are not using the internal storage you are in the root directory that is in the lobby that to start our app that is npm start that we have seen before in the beginning of the video now we are gonna see an IDE by we, which we can edit the all of necessary files of the react packages I have already installed that so I'm going to show you the ID by opening that and you can see here the ID that's great ID actually and I'm going to show you some commands here using control G you can see the help section where you can get the all the necessary commands uh, shortcut commands and you can read this and now let I'm going to show you some basic commands that is a uh, how to open file and how to close this ID so now let's check these things using alt plus G you can see some shortcuts here as you can see here now let's to open the file use control plus O and now you have to give the path of the file that is a SRC and inside that uh, we have app.js and now you can see the file here actually you can do all the necessary things that you will need while making a program so you can edit this file 
let's say let's delete this and using control s you can save the file and let's open one more tab here so control t you can see here our first one is app.js and other there is no name so now let's control o and let's open this hit enter and as you can see here we have two tab here and you can switch between them now we are going to test the hot reload feature of the react so let's open a new session here and now let's run the run the app using npm start so let's go back in our id and open the first session where id is open uh, let's change this warning that is right now yellow and let's to danger here that i am using here bootstrap classes so you can see here this yellow color will change automatically without reloading our app so let's save it and as you can see here this has been changed without reloading so let's change again to warning here okay let's say warning and let's control s to save this file now switch back now you can see the yellow color again that's enough for this video and in the next video we will see how to connect react and django and then we will also use bootstrap in our app please share this video comment like and don't forget to subscribe my channel so this is enough and see you in the next video